Let's go over how to maintain a heparin drip. Now the great thing about a heparin drip is that all the directions you'll need to maintain it are in the MAR. All we need to do is find out which directions to follow. Now how do we know which directions to follow? It's going to be based on the PTT results. So let's say we have a heparin drip and the PTT we collected comes out to be 57. That means we follow these directions because the PTT is between 55 and 69. So we would increase by 100 units per hour the rate and draw a stat PTT six hours after increasing the dose. Okay, that's simple. Now let's say we have another example. The PTT is 121. Which directions would we follow? Well, we would follow these because it's between 120 and 130. So we would hold the drip for 30 minutes, then decrease by 100 units per hour the rate and draw a stat PTT six hours after decreasing the dose. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to maintain a heparin drip. We just need to follow the directions based on the PTT. So the most difficult part about a heparin drip, I think, is adjusting the rate. So I have four examples in this video where I'm adjusting the rate. Um, you could follow along with me so you get some practice. So example one, we have a heparin drip running at 12.1 mLs per hour. The PTT is 57. What is the new rate? Well, we know that we have to follow these directions because the PTT is between 55 and 69. So we have to increase the rate by 100 units per hour. How do we do that? Well, the first thing that we need to do is convert the rate to units per hour. So the current rate is 12.1 mLs per hour. That converts to 1,210 units per hour. How did I get that? Well, the relationship between mLs per hour and units per hour is simply moving the decimal point two spaces to the right. And that will equal 1,210 units per hour. Now, now that we have the rate in units per hour, we can increase it by 100 units per hour, just like the direction set. So 1,210 units per hour plus 100 units per hour equals 1,310 units per hour. Now, we have to convert this rate back to mLs per hour. How do we do that? Well, we have 1,310 units per hour. We're gonna move the decimal point back two spaces, and that will equal 13.1 mLs per hour. And that's our new rate. See, not too bad. Now example two, we have a heparin drip that's running at 13.1 mLs per hour. The PTT is 140. What is the new rate? Well, since the PTT is 140, we know we're gonna follow one of these three directions because the PTT is greater than 130. Let's say we find out it's the first time the PTT is greater than 130. So we're gonna follow these directions. So it says to hold the drip for 60 minutes, decrease by 150 units per hour, and then draw a stat PTT six hours after decreasing the dose. So to adjust the rate, we have to focus on this, decrease by 150 units per hour. So let's calculate the new rate. So the first thing, of course, is we need to convert the rate to units per hour. So the current rate is 13.1 mLs per hour, that converts to 1,310 units per hour by simply moving the decimal point two spaces to the right. One, two. Now, again, the protocol states to hold a drip for 60 minutes, then decrease by 150 units per hour. So 
1,310 minus 150 units per hour equals 1,160 units per hour. Now, to convert this into mLs per hour, we're going to take 1,160 units per hour, move the decimal point two spaces to the left, and that will equal 11.6 mLs per hour. And this is our new rate. Now, there's one thing I'd like to note in example two. Um, remember, the protocol states to hold a drip for 60 minutes. When holding a heparin drip, make sure to disconnect the drip from the patient's IV access. This ensures that no heparin is infusing. Now, example three. We have a heparin drip running at 11.6 mLs per hour. The PTT comes back and it's 35. What is the new rate? Well, since the PTT is 35, we know that we're going to be following these directions because the PTT is less than 45. So it says we need to give a bolus dose of 5,000 units, increase by 150 units per hour, and then draw a PTT six hours after increasing the dose. So to calculate the new rate, we have to focus primarily on this, increase by 150 units per hour. So let's calculate the new rate. So again, we have to convert the rate to units per hour. The rate is 11.6 mLs per hour. We're going to move the decimal point two spaces to the right, and that makes it now 1,160 units per hour. Now the protocol states the bolus um, dose 5,000 units, then increase by 150 units per hour. So let's take 1,160 units per hour plus 150 units per hour, and that will equal 1,310 units per hour. Now, we need to convert this rate back to mLs per hour. So we're gonna take 1,310 units per hour. We're going to move the decimal point two spots to the left, and that will equal 13.1 mLs per hour. And this is our new rate. Now there's something I'd like to note with example three. Remember it stated that we need to give a bolus of 5,000 units. How do we do that? Um, well, we're gonna be doing it by using this order. You'll notice that it's going to be heparin. The dose will be 5,000 units. We're gonna be giving this heparin via IV push, and it can be done every six hours PRN. And note, it's for PTTs less than 45. And that's exactly what happened in example three. The PTT was less than 45, so we needed to give a bolus. So this is how we give that bolus, through IV push. Now for our last example, we have a heparin drip that's running at 13.1 mLs per hour. We find out that the PTT is 100. What is the new rate? Well, since the PTT is 100, we're going to be following one of these two directions because it's between 70 and 110. Now, which one do I follow? Well, let's read the directions to find out. If the heparin drip was started less than 24 hours ago, we'd follow these directions. If the heparin drip was started more than 24 hours ago, then we'd follow these directions. So let's say, for this example, the heparin drip was started less than 24 hours ago. So we'd follow these directions. So we'd make no change, and we draw a stat PTT six hours after the last PTT was collected. So since there's no change to the rate, the rate will stay at 13.1 mLs per hour. Thanks for watching guys. Please make sure to sign the attendance sheet in the description section below. Check out my other videos and subscribe, and I'll see you later.